Hi traders and welcome to our Wednesday technical video update. Happy hump day, the middle of the week. Let's go through the major currency pairs and see where we're sitting at the moment. Here on the euro against the US dollar, the euro fell on uh, Tuesday on the back of some uh, information about Deutsche Bank and concerns in Germany, Deutsche Bank being one of the biggest banks in Germany, the euro falling against the US dollar. This wasn't a result of the Hillary win in the first presidential debate. The market just simply was nervous about the euro and the impact of what's happening at Deutsche Bank. So the euro a little bit lower against the US dollar in the last 24 hours. But as you can see here on the daily chart, still above the 200 and the 50 EMA. So just keep that in mind, guys. If you're looking to short the euro against the US dollar, I would want to see it underneath this 200 EMA. All right, moving along to the US dollar against the yen. Very, very tight trading ranges here. The Bank of Japan has effectively fired all its monetary policy bullets for the time being. And also the US Fed is actually on the sidelines now, likely until December. So get ready to be really bored by a lot of talk around the US presidential election and what's going to be good for the US dollar and what's going to be bad for the US dollar. Donald Trump, if he wins, that's likely going to be bad news for the US dollar because he brings political uncertainty and geopolitical uncertainty. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, stability there, probably good news for the US dollar. But at the moment, the US dollar against the yen is sitting right at these lows at about 150 at the moment. And if you were looking along the US dollar leading into the back half of this year, I'd want to see an upward bias here and potentially this trend line here on the four hour chart broken. Look at this trend line here that's now developed here. If you're going to get long on the US dollar yen, if you were game enough off these lows, be very well aware of these moving averages, the 50 and the 200 EMA and this trend line here. But going out to the daily chart, that trend line runs all the way back to January this year. So a very strong area of resistance there on the US dollar. The Aussie dollar, on the other hand, look at these daily gains out of the last uh, 10 days or so. We've only had two down days. The Aussie dollar is moving back up towards uh, its 2016 highs up here of 78 cents, currently trading at 76.76 this morning. And at the moment, the Aussie dollar is also predicted by some leading traders in some big banks here in Australia to be moving higher as well. So keep an eye on that. Um, on the four hour chart, we are well clear of, and I've got a bounce off the 200 EMA here. The 50 is about to cross the 200 here. What happened last time that happened? Well, we can go back, stop this from scrolling back, but if we can go back here, we can see once that happened back in June, the Aussie dollar took off and hit a new 2016 high. So keep an eye on that. There's some buys in there today. Oil was lower overnight, which normally sees the Aussie dollar lower. But on this hand, there is some money coming for the Aussie right now. And that is where if you're looking to get long on the Aussie, take a look at this trend line, guys. Make sure if you're going to buy the dips, maybe look at putting these trend lines on your charts. And tonight, in our weekly currency coaching session, we're going to be talking about where these trends are finishing, how to recognize the end of a trend and how to recognize what economic data is going to impact your trade. So make sure you join me tonight at seven o'clock live online. Having a look at the Kiwi dollar now, it's taken a little dip overnight um, after it rallied up through the uh, 200 EMA on the day on the four hour chart. And uh, we're anticipating based on the current setup here that with a lower low in price and a higher low on the oscillator, this usually means over the short to medium term, a higher Kiwi dollar against the US dollar. And if we actually come in here, this current trend line is still in play with respect to the 50 EMA where it bounced off a number of times. And we're just sitting here right now. As you can see, the trading range is a pretty tight here on the Kiwi against the US dollar. But on the four hour chart, we are simply back underneath the 200 EMA at the moment. So if you're looking for long or a long on the Kiwi USD, you want to see some buyers coming in and holding it back above both of these uh, trend lines. Pound against the yen. Well, the trend is to the downside here. If we look on the four hour chart, what's our daily chart showing us? The same thing, but we're sitting here. If we look at both, look how correlated these two markets are. Pound against the yen, 
low, low, low. US dollar against the yen, low, low, low. So very important you understand your correlations there with respect to all of the currency currencies pairs that you're trading. Euro against the pound, again, we're still in an upward trend here. We're having the market here. You can wanna make sure you get these trend lines on your charts, guys because they will help you over the long haul. The market is firmly to the upside here on the euro against the pound. If we go down to the four hour chart, also here by the look of things, we've got wave three moving to the upside, potentially coming back for wave four, AO to the zero line. That might get a bounce off our trend line or even our 50 EMA for a potential move up for wave number five so keep an eye on that one one we've spoken about in the last few days is the us dollar against the canadian dollar there are a few traders around suggesting the next move on the us dollar against the canadian dollar is to the downside if that's the trade that you wanted to take i would recommend that you keep an eye on the 50 and the 200 you can see how it's traded between these levels for the best part of the last couple of weeks hitting the 200 ema and getting some resistance from a wave count perspective we should be heading lower if you were going to short the US dollar against the Canadian dollar, I'd want to see it down under this 50 EMA. That would give us some genuine weakness on the US dollar against the Canadian dollar, likely strength in oil, and that would mean the price would have to trade back down under this 200 EMA as well. Then we could potentially see some real momentum to the downside. So keep an eye on that one. If you're looking to short the US dollar against the Canadian dollar, be very well aware of this 50 EMA that may act as some support as it did four days ago. If you want to long the US dollar against the Canadian dollar, well, you've got a good opportunity to do that if we see a break above the 200 EMA and that would likely send us higher because there's not a lot of resistance here against that US dollar. But be aware, a lot of traders expecting oil to move higher in the back half of this year. That would mean weakness on the US dollar against the Canadian dollar, Canadian strength leading into the back half of this year if oil rises. Last currency pair we're gonna have a look at today is the Aussie dollar. Uh, versus sterling and again very similar and look at the correlation here with the pound against the Aussie and the pound against the yen look here Pound against the yen low 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 pound against the Aussie If we come back to this one again low 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 and this one here right now is setting up for a potential head and shoulders to the upside and if we get some buyers coming for the pound then a move back above this 50 EMA may indeed see us trading back towards our 200 EMA here. So just keep an eye on that one over the course of the next few days. But it is really important that you understand just how important it is that these correlations, pound against the Aussie, pound against the yen, US dollar against the yen, they're very, very similar. As is, if we go into the US dollar against the uh, Swiss franc, We'll see here a range bound sideways market. If we go into the euro against the US dollar, a range bound sideways market. So if you're keen to learn more about the correlations and tonight, of course, we're gonna be talking about how to recognize the end of a trend, how to recognize what economic data is gonna impact your trades. Just join me on Wednesday night live at 6 p.m. online for a one hour free currency coaching session. You can see the link inside today's report. It is recorded and every session is posted on the Go Markets Facebook page the following day and also in the Go Daily Fix. Until Friday, have a great day.